Hello, welcome back to Book Club. Today I'm going to be talking briefly, believe it or not, uh, about rhyming. Rhyming is also important when it comes to learning how to read and write. And by introducing your kids to rhyming and rhyming words, uh, it will really help them later on when they start learning how to read. There are a lot of whys um, and becauses uh, that we could get into behind the importance um, of rhyming words, but we will do that another day. <laughs> My goal is to get this video under five minutes. Can she do it? So the first activity is super simple um, in, in theory. <laughs> I don't know it changes with every kid. Uh, it's simple because there's no prep. You can do this in the car. You can do this in, at your house. You can do this anywhere. You don't need anything. You, what you're going to do is you're just going to sit down with your kid or you'll be in the car with your kid or something like that. And you'll say, hey, uh, you know what? I'm going to give you two words and you're going to tell me if they rhyme or not. And they'll be like, what? And you'll say, yeah, okay, so tell me, um, do the words cat and hat rhyme? And they'll say yes or no. And then you say, great. And you'll say, um, do the words chair and paper rhyme? And they'll say yes or no. And so you play that game um, every now and then, you play that game for a little bit until they get really good at it. It's like automatic for them. They can tell if a word rhymes or not. That's game number one. Um, activity or game number two is that you give a word and they have to find a word that rhymes with it. So you'd say, hey, uh, okay, find a word that rhymes with cat. And they'll come up with like mat or hat. Uh, and you'll say, awesome, that's great. Now, um, what about mouse? And then they'll say house or something. And so then this is just kind of one step above you coming up with both words. Now you're um, making them work a little bit harder and you're getting them to really think um, and listen to what you are saying. With these two games, uh, it is really important to get your child to say the word. I was going to say read. Uh, it's, it's so important. I feel like I say really important and so important for everything I talk about. Uh, but the most um, exciting part, the most crucial part of this game is to ensure that you're asking your kid to repeat words after you. Um, more specifically, repeat the rhyming words. This game works well because you are talking about words that rhyme. Um, but another way to really, really make sure that it's sticking and to um, help your child out down the road is to get them to say the word. Get them to repeat it after you. Uh, you can say, do the words cat and hat rhyme, and then they'll say yes or no. Ask them to repeat cat and hat. Uh, if they are um, working on the second activity that I just mentioned with you, and you're saying, hey, come up with a word that rhymes with house. Oh, my dog, she's outside, she heard something. Um, get them to repeat the word. So even if they're only coming up with one word, if you're coming up with the word house and they're saying mouse or something, um, maybe my dog found a mouse at the other house. <laughs> uh, the reason why getting your kid to repeat words um, is so important is because, believe it or not, and like this is something that's happening like subconsciously, is that they are um, practicing this, like the, the feeling that their mouth muscles make when they are saying these words. And it's just something, you don't have to teach it, you don't have to make a big woohoo about it, a mouse or whatever, right? Like this is how your mouth must look when you're saying this word. Um, have them repeat these words because then like later on when they start reading them, when they're spelling or they're sounding out different words, this practice of repeating words and rhyming words will be really helpful um, when they're trying to make those connections with their mouth muscles and sounds that they need to produce with their mouth. Cool, okay, the very last activity, um, probably my most favorite, a little bit more prep um, when it comes to this one, but this honestly is an activity you could play with like you as the parent um, or the adult. You could be sitting down on the, on the couch, relaxing, um, kind of. It depends how relaxing this, this uh, might be to you because you're going to be asking your kid to look for objects around the house. So you'll say, you know what? We're going to come up with some rhyming words and we're going to use objects around the house to help us or something introduce it in whichever way you like um so you're going to say you know what can you find me you could scaffold this you could say i'm going to give you a house uh can you find me something that rhymes with house or you could just point blank say go find me two things that rhyme um so for the house um rhyme or object object <laughs> so for house uh i found i had to kind of go searching i couldn't find the mouse 
oh I gave it away <laughs> for for house I found the finger puppet mouse so this is a rhyme and I would just put this uh match like this rhyming match together uh, I'd put it on the table and then I would move on and I'd go find something else I also coincidentally have a rock this is a very beautiful rock um I guess it's technically a crystal right some rose quartz but I have a rock and uh it's snowing outside I didn't really want to go digging for a rock so you could ask your pig to go for a dig though <laughs> that's a knee slobber am I right I have rock and block those are two things that rhyme I've also got uh tea bag of tea and a key there another match um what was the other one? Oh, yeah this one's good I have a cat and a hat or a hat wearing no <laughs> a cat wearing a hat oh that took me a while to get there if the activity is a little bit hard at the beginning you could start by coming up with the first thing uh, or you could um, strategically place things pretty close to each other <laughs> I don't know see how it goes but yeah if you had um, house and you gave this house to your kid and say okay I have a house go find me something that rhymes with house see what they come up with I don't know let me know how it goes sorry I dropped my mouse on the floor um the very last thing that you can do with this uh matching rhyming objects activity is that if you wanted to take it a step further you could take pictures of your objects or you could draw pictures of your objects in a little booklet you could write your own simple pattern book with the objects that you found around the house you could say uh, I found like at my house I found dot 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 or something and you could make a cute little rhyming book uh, yeah so those are a few rhyming activities that you can do around the house or in your car as always thank you so much for being here and uh, for clicking subscribe uh, say hello to us on Instagram if you'd like if you are an Instagram lover like me and uh, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to tell me like your rhyming words uh, please uh, send us an email. Uh, our website and our email are linked below. Thanks and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Or as my dog would say to the mouse in the house next door, woo 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 woo. <laughs> okay, have a good day and week. Bye.